Hi there, Josh Blumenthal here for another episode of Instigator of Change. There's a number of people in this world who feel the need to always be surrounded by other people. They feel like they constantly need to surround themselves with friends, and there could be any number of reasons for this, and there's really no point in me speculating as to why. But what there is validity in me saying is that deep down, behind any reason we could come up with, the real reason that anyone feels the need to constantly surround themselves with other people is the fear of being alone. And loneliness is a difficult feeling. We all know that. But when you feel lonely, it's important to understand why you feel lonely. Is it because you haven't been getting out and spending time with other people? Or is it because you have a bad relationship with yourself? Loneliness exists for a very important purpose. It exists for the purpose of getting to know yourself. Surrounding yourself with other people exists for the purpose of getting to know yourself in relation to other people. But sometimes, when we spend so much time alone or with other people, we forget, or sometimes we never even learn, how to interact with other people or how to appreciate ourselves. But that's life. Life is filled with opportunities to learn and to grow. And it's important to take those opportunities. Because like I said in the last episode, if you don't change what the world changes, you end up feeling lost. Now I know it can be scary to dive into something that you're not particularly comfortable with. But if you never grow, you'll always be hiding. You'll never get to be the real you. And what a shame. You know, sometimes we may feel like we don't really have anything to offer other people. Sometimes we feel like we don't have anything to offer ourselves. But each of us has value. That I promise you. You just need to tap into it. And the way you tap into it is by exploring your relationships with yourself and with other people. It might not be easy. It might not go smoothly at first. But big deal! Ever heard of the phrase, growing pains? Yes, it was an excellent show. But the reason the phrase exists is because growth doesn't always come easy. But it's always rewarding. In my personal experience with overcoming depression, one of the greatest lessons I learned was the ability to be okay with other people not liking me. You know, Bill Cosby once said, I don't know the key to success, but the key to failure is trying to please everyone. When you're so concerned with other people and other people liking you, you can't be yourself because you're so worried about screwing up. You're afraid to be yourself because what if you let your guard down and people don't like who you really are? But the only reason we think thoughts like that is because we're not okay with who we are. You have to confront the loneliness in your life by going out on your own and learning about yourself. Learning about the way that you really feel and why you feel that way. And saying, that's okay. It's okay to feel this way. I'm okay with me feeling this way. And accept yourself as you are. Look, there are things that all of us have in ourselves that we don't like about ourselves. Each of us can find flaws in ourselves. But if you aren't willing to accept yourself with flaws, you won't accept that you have the strength to make improvements to yourself. Acceptance has to come first. And when you accept who you are, loneliness vanishes. It's a great feeling to have other people love you. But if you don't love yourself, what a devastating feeling. So you know what? The next time you feel lonely, consider why you feel lonely. Is it, if, if, if you haven't been spending any time with other people, 
then get out into the world. Learn about your relationship with, with other people and enjoy them. But if you have been spending time with other people and you still feel that loneliness deep inside you, then don't go hang out with other people. Don't get on the phone and call someone else up. Don't go out and try and get laid. And don't go post all over Facebook just so you'll be noticed. Take that loneliness and accept it. Because it's real and it's a part of you. Accept that loneliness and get to know yourself. Ask yourself questions out loud and answer those questions out loud so you can really hear who you are. Learn about yourself because you are going to have that relationship for the rest of your life. You need to be okay with being alone. We all leave this world alone in the end. It's time to take the next step. It's time to make yourself your best friend. And when you do that, all your other relationships will change for the better. Because your relationships with other people will no longer be a band-aid on the wound that is your fear. They'll just be great moments of enjoyment. Because you'll be hanging out with your friends and you'll be hanging out with your best friend. Much love.